All right, on that note, since this is a call-in show, we've got a bunch of callers lined up. We'll go ahead and start uh, working our way through these and go to Trevor in Washington. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, hey how you doing? Okay. <laughs> you can hear me. That's cool. <laughs> um, well, um, Makes the show easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, got some uh, biochemical challenges for you guys. You, know, you guys like working in the science realm. I hope one of well, you guys has... Why, why would you call and challenge us on biochemistry? Are we biochemists? I don't like working uh, in the realm of science. I, I, if, if I did, I would work in the realm of science. Yeah, but I don't. and I, I didn't really well, start doing the show. You so. an alternative to God. You guys need why? some reason that everything came about. Right? Why, wait, what? you don't need an alternative to something that doesn't have a basis in itself. Well, you guys need... Do I'm I need an alternative sure, uh, to fairies? I mean... Does it math there at least believes in evolution? Sorry, what? He says you believe in evolution. Of course, because I'm not, you know. <laughs> All right, I have challenges for evolution if you want to hear them. Um, not really. <laughs> what, do, what, okay, see, so you, you, you seem to not understand that this is irrelevant to whether or not a god exists. You could challenge evolution, you could prove evolution false right now, and it doesn't add one bit of credibility to the claim that a god exists. Well, something, everything has to be here for some reason and if evolution isn't true there's really no other reason for everything that's called an argument from ignorance <laughs> and if there would be no other reason then the answer would be there is no reason for all of this it wouldn't be god yeah you have to actually provide evidence for your claim meanwhile when it comes to evolution we're talking about something that is actually backed up by evidence and if you well, have you're a, not if seeming you, to if, if you have let me question it so no. you guys are uh, ignore me here because it's oh, I'm right happy there. I'm happy to ignore you if that's what you if you want to happen my my point that I'm trying to make here is that you're calling an atheist call-in show to offer challenges to evolution and I don't see I don't think there would be nearly as much atheism if evolution was not true but what you're saying solution. though is that more people would be inclined to accept reasonable fallacies or i guess reasoning fallacies um, which may be accurate but it certainly doesn't add anything to the claim that god is responsible for any of this it's just simply saying that people would be tricked by a fallacy i, I mean and they probably would be but that doesn't mean that it's that it makes it doesn't make it an ounce more valid well evolution is a, a fallacy and you and i used to believe it i actually lost but it has nothing to do All with my God. Faith in God because of evolution. That's up so to you. I, I mean, that's ridiculous. First of you all, you can say it's not relevant. First of all, if you lost all of your faith in God because of evolution, you had bad reasons. Yes. Uh, it's you know the fact that you believe something for bad reasons or stop believing something for bad reasons uh, doesn't say one bit about whether or not it's actually true. And second of all, I'm assuming that you're going to say that you've since discovered that evolution is false, which means that your ability to process information and determine what's believable is seriously flawed and you are flip-flopping on big questions all based on fallacies i, I think you guys are uh have a funny thing going here that uh kind of twists the argument uh avoid things you know you can't win the opposite no, 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 wait no, no. the opposite of god is not evolution okay no, but you do need a solution <laughs> No, no, you don't. don't. Every, all this no, stuff exists. you don't. We are not exactly simple beings. You might see an arm and a leg, <sighs> but it's a little more complicated. You're on hold. There must be some explanation, but the absence of an explanation does not mean that God is true. And just because we don't believe in God does not mean that we must currently have an explanation. Fortunately, we do, because evolution is a fact. Okay, I used to think that. I used to, then you used I actually to be haven't correct. met anyone that was more into evolution than I was. Well, then but you, I disbelieve evolution currently. You, you Fine! Continue to, to but that is evolution. not that's not a reason to believe in God. Okay, why don't you believe no, it's not. why don't you Thank believe you. He just why said don't it's you not. believe that okay. Why don't you believe that evolutionary theory, that the the natural selection uh, that's, well, first of all, first of all, let me ask you this: because you say you used to believe in evolution, evolution is a fact. It's it's an observed fact, and then there is the theory of evolution by natural selection. Do you disbelieve both of them? I believe there is some uh, micro 
evolution. Anyone can see that. I'm not stupid. Um, but looking at it from biology, looking at the biology of it, it's just ridiculous to think that a single cell ever could have existed and just come about. And is this, a, is this the consensus okay. of biologists? No, 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 no. Because now you're challenging not evolution, but abiogenesis. I, well, the abiogenesis you know is what? the root of evolution. It's the beginning. You know what? You say you never met anybody who was more into evolution than you. Maybe you should go out and meet some of those people because they represent the bulk of scientists who are actually working in this field and understand it. You know what? I understand evolution. Not if I you're, not if, it not if you're you, challenged. Not if your challenge is that you don't believe, you simply don't believe abiogenesis. If that's, your, if that's your reason for dropping all of the observations, the facts about change in species, then you don't understand what you're talking about. You have to get that first cell. Yeah. And I also have reasons to doubt every other point of evolution, or, or most of them. And they're very sound and logical reasons. Okay, where's your Nobel Prize? <laughs> where's it's your, not a joke. Um, I don't need one. Oh, but I do. Yes. Because you're claiming that you have information that would turn all of biological theory okay, on what, its head. Know, how about you let me say it and you decide for yourself? Sure. I'm not a biologist, but I, I, go I'll for give it. You, I'll, give you, I'll give you 60 seconds. Go. Oh, yeah, let's answer the hardest questions in the world in 60 seconds. I could hang up if you'd prefer. Scientific. I'm just amazed we have so. a guy on the phone who can okay, answer the bye. hardest questions in the world. Bye. I, I, I'm, it's not my job to waste as much time on the show as you would like us to waste. I'm sorry that your personal opinions don't match with the established science, but the armchair evolution denier who thinks that he's found the arguments that trump all evolution who calls into an atheist show, and even after being told that it's irrelevant to the subject of this show, continues on, is an idiot. Why haven't you published? Oh, the scientific community just won't listen to you. Because you're an idiot! <laughs> How hard was that? We tried to say, say it wasn't... Anyway, even if you could disprove evolution, it wouldn't prove your God, which means all of your position is based on a fallacy. But the fact that you can sit there and say, oh, I used to be really into evolution, and I know, I know all about evolution, and now I just can't believe it, and I'd like to give you my reasons, don't. You know, but even not even, not even looking at the, the argument from ignorance, it gives people such a problem, and I don't know why. Yeah. But even without that, all you have to do is say, there are people who believe in God who believe in evolution. There are people who believe in God who do not believe in evolution. Therefore, whether or not you believe in God is irrelevant to whether or not you believe in evolution. I don't know how much more clear it can be than that. Yeah, and the fact is, you got him to say that at one point, that, it, that disproving evolution wouldn't say anything at all about the God existence. Right, so, so it's, it's irrelevant. You know, and it, it's only relevant when you will not let go of the argument from ignorance fallacy. Yeah. And you don't, if you think that, if you think that evolution has to be wrong in order for your God to be right, and you don't think that you need to demonstrate why your God is right, <laughs> why that you know, idea about your God is right, then suddenly this becomes necessary. But you have to buy into a fallacy, first of all. Um, yeah, and then you have to sit there and say that you know more about biology than biologists. And I, I don't know why you think that's true. You know, uh, it's, we've taken... And asking us, I mean, you're not... When you, if you want to issue a challenge to biology, you know who you need to talk to, right? And it's not atheists, it's yeah. biologists. There's a little okay. symbol down there in the lower <laughs> corner right here, the atheist experience. Now, we've talked about evolution before. We, we've talked about it again. The thing is, I don't want to get... Here, here's what happens. You have apologists, in particular, who run around thinking that if they can trump random atheist X on subject Y, they can then pimp this out to the believers of, look, I stumped the atheist and therefore God, which is just another fallacy. Because I'm not a biologist, so even if I didn't have any responses to your you know, accusations or your objections to evolution, it wouldn't mean a thing. Now, if you'd like, since I hung up on you, and I'm sure that your panties are in a twist over that. If you'd like to call back, 
I could probably get PZ Myers to agree to uh, call in or sit in on the show at some point in the future, and then you could pose your objections to biology to him until his head exploded and he went off, because he's actually a biologist. But we're going to move on. <laughs>